This is Connie Britton, an actress known for characters like Queen of Country, Raina James in Nashville, Tammy Taylor in Friday Night Lights, and more recently, Deborah Newell in the Bravo series Dirty John. In addition to the confidence and poise that she often exhibits in her roles, she's usually playing someone that other characters turn to for advice or moral support. While pursuing a career in acting in New York, working part-time as an aerobics instructor, Connie's first big break was her feature film film debut in the 1995 indie comedy drama The Brothers McMullen. She played Molly McMullen, wife to one of the aforementioned brothers, who confronts her husband about his potential interest in another woman. Are you that far removed from this relationship? She would go on to work with the writer-director of the film, Ed Burns, on several other projects throughout her career. Connie made an impact on TV early on as well, with three episodes on Ellen, but her first big breakout role on TV was as no-nonsense Nikki Faber, a accountant to the mayor in four seasons of Spin City. We're not there yet. I mean, forget the health insurance and the pension plans. We can't even come close to what these sanitation workers are asking for. This is another one of her strengths, playing an ambitious working woman in a highly competitive environment. Like when she helped President Bartlett get re-elected, playing a political consultant in several episodes of The West Wing. On the other hand, she's incredibly effective showing her maternal side. Like when she played Shirley Temple's mother, looking out for her best interests in the TV movie Child star The Shirley Temple Story. The public will always love you, Shirley. Then in 2004, Connie acted in a film that would serve as a catalyst in launching her career, Friday Night Lights. Although her character was very minor, something the director Peter Berg regretted, until he went on to produce the 2006 TV adaptation, offering her the lead role of Tammy Taylor. So when the TV show came along, he said, this is our chance to give these women a voice. This is our chance to do that. Connie's portrayal of Tammy is that of someone who acts as a loving, supportive figure and voice of reason for the students and her husband, Coach Taylor, in what is often cited as one of the most realistic portrayals of a strong, healthy marriage in a TV series. But she also wasn't afraid to be brutally honest. Well, you're gonna win or you're gonna lose. Either way, the sun's gonna come up the next morning. After two Emmy nominations for Friday Night Lights, Connie garnered two additional Emmy nominations for performances in the first season of American Horror Story. They didn't die in here or anything, did they? Yes, actually, both of them. And of course, as Raina James, a reigning queen of country in the twilight of her career. Oh, you can kiss my decision as it's walking out the door. But Connie's made a big impression in indie films as well, playing Adam Driver's girlfriend in This Is Where I Leave You, being another source of maternal support for the main character Greg in Me and Earl and the Dying Girl, and one of many pleasure seekers in an apocalypse in Seeking a Friend for the End of the World. You don't have to do heroin if you don't want to, sweetie. In addition to supporting roles in big films like A Nightmare on Elm Street and American Ultra, Connie's continued to secure new roles in numerous TV shows. American Crime Story, 911, Smilf, and more recently, Bravo's Dirty John. Unlike her character in Nashville, Connie's not in the twilight of her career by any stretch of the imagination. She's a queen in her own right, and she's just getting started. 